Hello and welcome to a new episode of Critical Coffee Considerations with me, Francis Peck. Today we're having a look at the D fluid or to extract from three different angles the unboxing that you see here and in the top left corner one of my first uh, trial trials uh, measuring it on a coffee liquid that uh, can hardly be called espresso but uh, um, still good good to know what kind of measurements come out there um, and then we'll have a third angle um, having a professional actually showing us what's the correct way of doing a measurement now I must say the the box was that it comes in is, is it's a nice box I mean you don't take the box with you on the road but it's definitely a pleasure opening it so first thing that you see here below is actually just zeroing the apparatus and that's the the thing that also already uh, takes a little bit of figuring out because the device just says ready uh, when it started and to be able to do a zeroing or a calibration what you need to do is in this state you have to quickly give it one press and then you keep pressing it so it's like a double press situation and then it's not clear um, how long you're supposed to do then if you do it wrong as I did here you actually end up um, in a different kind of menu which you don't want but once you are there it is just uh, just takes one or two seconds to get that zero value the water isn't really that relevant but it should just be room temperature actually that's the same for when you're doing the measurement of the coffee you're not allowed to simply take the coffee uh, out of your cup and uh, place it immediately onto the detector I mean you, you can actually do it and then still kind of wait for it to cool down but um, as you saw with the Senseo because of that we have to be honest fake foam you know it's not real espresso foam it's a trick to make you believe you're having a espresso like drink but the density as we will find out is just uh, basically not really worth it and um, so they're um, still just um, cleaning it and ready to take uh, a little bit of a measurement and now doing some hand cooling of the, the small spoon the spoon that you get with it is really sturdy really kind of very um, metal quality kind of um, for, for some reason it doesn't look that that much you know to, to use as a coffee spoon give it a good stir and then drink let's say um, but it's it, but now let's switch to the third perspective, the professional. Because I had it, um, I bought it in November for um, the, you know, the American tradition. Uh, um, how do you call it? Um, you know, the day after Thanksgiving. The, oh, the uh, Black Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was very excited to wait for it to arrive. And in the meantime, I, I made my little app to try and guess what the TDS is, oh, nice. just for myself. Yeah. And then I was so used of just guessing that I actually just opened it just before coming to the conference to start and actually doing the measurements. So that's nice. why. <laughs> well, all right. So, so how do you go about it then? Okay, so first thing, I'll try it. Yes. Okay. So we'll take a spoonful. It doesn't matter really how much liquid you use. Yes as long as it completely covers the sensor. Yes. So we'll put some in. So basically the depth of it doesn't matter. Depth it just of needs it doesn't to matter. cover yeah, completely. Yeah, it must be completely covered yeah. though. So like if you put a really small amount and it's like half uncovered, yes. it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a, a short and then a long press like yeah. this. Yes, yes. So, and it says zeroing. And you should always use the same water that's being used to make the coffee with. So, 
the, uh, if you were to use like a water tester and yeah. you tested like tap water versus distilled water, yes. the difference in dissolved solids is so small that this device won't register that. Okay, okay. So it's okay to use pretty much any water. For the as long as it's not like super polluted water okay. or something. So yeah. is the calibration more important then for like um, the temperature, the settings, where you are to get the calibration yeah, right yeah, for yeah. that so motor? Yeah, so you yeah, okay. want room temperature in the place that you're at. Yeah. And okay. then when you test the coffee, you want the coffee to be at room temperature also at where you're at. Yes, okay. So if you were to test it when it's hot, it will try to predict, like based on the the, the speed of cooling, mm -hmm. where it's going to end up, mm -hmm. and you'll get like a reasonably accurate result. But the, for the most precise, accurate results, you want to use that. It should already be room temperature. Same yeah. temperature as the t the calibration. Yeah. So, so to make sure that it's calibrated, you want to give it a test after you've you've zeroed it. Yes. And it should read zero. Again, zero. So it's, yeah, Makes sense. So good. <laughs> and then we can dump out that water, and then we'll dry and then it. And just dry again. Okay. And then I don't have any coffee liquid, but then you would do the same thing. Yes, yes. And then to, to clean your thing with the coffee is also just throw away and then you should put a little bit of the water. You on don't top even of need it. to put a little bit, like it's it's waterproof. Oh, I like to go can, like this. I literally okay. I do this. Okay, I was afraid to do this. Okay, this is good. This is what I do every good. time. Yeah. And then I dry it because it's also got like a, a coating on here to get rid of water droplets yes. so they don't yes. really stick there. And then you dry off whatever's yes. left. But you shouldn't okay. drop it. You should you, you shouldn't sh drop it in there. You shouldn't. <laughs> but if you did, it would be fine. Okay. So okay. like I um I wish I could show you. I have a video. I had a big tank of water when I was making like an advertisement and I just dunked the whole thing in the water and then tested the water while it was in there and it would breathe 0.0, .0 and then I pull it out and then just keep using it. And the only thing you don't want to do is if you do get it in the water. Yeah. Don't charge it while it's wet. Of course, yeah. So that, yeah, yes. like dry out the port first. It will just it mo most most of the time, and what it should do is just not charge and tell you that there's an error. But like, if you were to get like a yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay, not a good idea. Common sense, let's say. Yeah, Common yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll even. Yeah, I would be. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. But just to be on the safe side, if yeah. you want to charge, yeah, it's a good yeah. trick. Just usually, to what people like do is like we'll just hold this under the yeah. sink and rinse it, and then dry it off. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thanks okay. for for yeah, the uh, little workshop. The <laughs> no, no, no problem. <laughs>